Hi book lovers! Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title, Historical Romance Readathon is back. I'm co-hosting it once again with my best friends Lisa from Remarkably Lisa and Jessica from Peaceful Books. I'll link them down below so be sure to subscribe. We're co-hosting this one again and I think it's our fourth time doing this. It's another week-long readathon and all you have to do is read historical romance books. Also, I'm wearing my adorable Wallflowers t-shirt from Hello Lovely Box. They have a ton of cute historical romance merch. You can use my code Lacey15 for 15% off the shop. We're having another group buddy read, a bingo board, some Instagram proms, a live show at the end of the week, and I do believe we're planning on some author lives on Instagram like last round, but those details are to be announced. The dates for the readathon are June 28th through July 4th, and again, there are no rules except for you to read historical romances throughout this week. We're we're using the hashtag HR readathon again so if you make any posts any videos please be sure to use the hashtag so it's easier for everyone to find. Our group buddy read for the readathon is Olivia and the Mass Duke by Grace Calloway. This is the first in a new series. The series is called Lady Charlotte's Society of Angels so there's this secret society going on. I read her earlier this year for the first time and I've been wanting to read more of her so this is perfect. It's set in the Victorian era. It's got an age gap slow burn, friends to lovers. I love those tropes and it really sounds so good. The hero actually saved the heroine when she was a little girl. He saved her life. Now she's all grown up and she wants to win his heart. The hero is a duke with a tortured past. The heroine ends up finding the secret society for women. It's like an investigative agency, which sounds very interesting. And of course, Grace Calloway is pretty known for her steamy historical romances, so I'm excited. You don't have to join us in reading this, but we will be discussing it during our live show. For the bingo board, it's going to be 4x4, four four, so 16 squares. You can make a row, a column, diagonal, or you can check off all the boxes if you want. For the bingo squares, we're going to have a class difference, so like someone titled falling for someone not titled, a self-made man slash rags to riches hero, a historical not set in Europe, a wallflower, so a heroine who is pretty shy and hangs around the edges of like a ballroom during a dance because no one really asks her to dance or she She's too shy to dance. There is, of course, Lisa Kleypas's iconic Wallflower series, a spinster, so a heroine who is in her late 20s or older who hasn't been married yet, a purple cover, a book by Grace Calloway, an indie published book, a book that's part of a series, one person on the cover, the word Duke in the title, a historical with a clinch cover, a Scottish or Highlander romance, a marriage of convenience, a spy romance, or a single parent romance. Our group read, Olivia and the Mass Duke actually crosses off quite a few boxes here. It's got purple on the cover. It's obviously by Grace Calloway. It's indie published. It's part of a series. It's got Duke in the title, a clinch cover, and it may be a spy romance as well. That's what I'm thinking that the heroine gets into. For our Instagram prompts, like prompts to post for each day of the readathon week, day one, which starts on Monday, is to post about all the historical romances on your TBR for the readathon. Day two is to post a purple historical romance or a purple historical romance stack. Day three is to post about your favorite historical romance so far this year in 2021. Day four is posting about your favorite old school historical romance author. So any author who published in the 90s or earlier would count. Day five is Friday, so we're joining in the Coverless Friday hashtag on Instagram. So that day you post a historical romance with a gorgeous cover, not the step bag or the back cover, but just the front cover like this Lisa Kleypas book. Day six is of course Step Back Saturday and that's when you get to post all your step backs or your back covers. This is a day when you get people to try to guess what book the step back is from or what back cover the book is from. And then day seven, the last day of the readathon, is posting about your favorite modern day historical romance author. So anyone from the 2000s to now. That's about it for today's announcement video though. Be sure to check out Lisa and Jessica's announcement videos as well. All the templates for the bingo and the proms will be on our Instagrams and Instagram stories. So be sure to follow us there. The live show is happening on Lisa's channel on July 4th, the last day of the readathon. I'll be posting my TBR and recommendations for the readathon, historical romance recommendations, in like a week or two. But I do have a ton of historical romance recommendations already. I have a historical romance playlist if you want to check it out. Lisa and Jessica also have a ton of historical romance recommendations. I mean, Lisa has basically become a 
historical romance YouTube channel. I hope you're all excited to join in this round of historical romance readathon because I know we are. It is one of my favorite readathons. I always get cravings and want to binge on all the historical romance, so this is coming just in time. That is it for the video though. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!